Welcome to Talk Show Tuesdays with Cyber Game Studios. Today I'm joined by Liam. Hello. Ewan. Hey, what's up? And Mike. Hey guys. And here's Liam with what we're going to be talking about. Right, well, wow, this is really corny and so anal. Just, I'll just have to clear the air. I just had to say it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. That was the yeah, style. It, it had to be said. Okay. Okay, so, so what we're going to be talking about today. So on the schedule, it's the intro, which is done. Which Cameron has just done. Thank you, Cameron. It's a slow clap for you. Good intro. Yeah. Um, what we're going to talk about, uh, which is what I'm talking about now. <laughs> uh, uh, what what RPG2 is, which is what I'm going to talk about, it's features and when it's going to be open. Oh, and then we've got my part. I'm actually going to be talking about Feed the Beast. And he's going to be talking about Feed the nice. Beast. Uh, then we have Ewan's I, I talk. I can join in there. Yeah, uh, Ewan, uh, who's going to well, be talking... Yeah, go on Ewan, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, uh, we're talking about uh, next-gen consoles and stuff like that. I've always been mainly a console gamer, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, Mike is just, you know, gay. I'm, I'm I mean, here. I mean, he's just here, you know. I'm, I'm their gay best friend. Oh, uh, sure. No. Go with it. <laughs> okay. Well, well, whatever. Not my problem. That's in the script, right? Yeah, it's in the script. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The well, script. I may as well get started. Um, so RPG two. Um, it's a bucket plugin, uh, and it makes uh, a server generally more RPG style. I mean, there's no building. Uh, you fight mobs for better, for better gear. You know, better weapons and stuff like that. So. So here's, uh, you know, I'm going to read out a current list of its features right after this. <laughs> and that's a real professional. Um, yeah, so um, some of the things we have in it are custom items, uh, and they're not, they don't work, they're not spout custom items, they are items that change the name and some of the information about it. Uh, pets, but they're, they're a work in progress. Uh, a new money system, custom spawns, a new stamina system, Player banks, which is really fun. Uh, also, an awesome loot system, uh, which is really, really cool in my opinion. Uh, sign shops, uh, a damage display, a uh, different repair system. So you, uh, you only have to right-click on an anvil uh, and have a certain amount of gold to repair your item. Um, WoW-styled Hearthstone, uh, boss mobs, so like um, skeletons. So far we've got the swarm, which is a skeleton that spawns silverfish. Also, Cameron, can you get any louder? Oh, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you want? Um, okay. Is this good? Yeah, that's great. So, we have a skeleton, uh, and when you, I think you, when you hit the skeleton, it spawns silverfish. Uh, yeah. Next one is a flying witch, uh, and giants, which actually do damage to you and aggro on you, and so on and so forth. Yeah, they do so much damage. Indeed. Um. Uh, mobs can have custom health. Uh, you can make gold drop instead of XP from mobs uh, if you want. That's customizable. Um, uh, and uh, there's a book with your stats in. One of the things I plan to add is uh, merchant traders. So you know, if you got a villager, yeah. you right click on the villager, you know, and you know, it gets the little trading window up, and then you can trade something for gold. Um, yeah. And the custom items, uh, which is. A really neat um, sort of feature I've added to, to the items themselves uh, allow player stats to increase. So some of the attributes are custom damage for each different weapon. Um, if they can add health to the player, uh, stamina regeneration, health regeneration, life steal, dodge, and custom yeah. durability. And um, the, the stamina re, uh, the stamina system is completely different from the current stamina system, you know, the food bar. I mean, it still uses the food bites, but it's completely different. Yeah, it's a different food bar. Yeah, it's really, pretty annoying to Even explain. It's the same. Yeah. Alright, Cameron, do you want to talk about the map, or...? Uh, the map, yes. We've got quite a large team of builders. Yeah. <laughs> is that, <laughs> that, is that <laughs> what you've got to say? <laughs> three people, basically. Is that, uh, is that what you got to say about, about that, um, Cameron? <laughs> it's split up into the segments. Which okay. include um, a jungly area in the spawn. Yeah. Uh, You've gone quiet again, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll talk some more. I'll talk some more about the map. Um, at the moment, the the map consists of three different areas, and each of them areas actually have their own trailer on YouTube. Um, you yeah. Know, 
so you can actually go and see what you know they sort of look like by you know going onto the our channel cyber game studios um, yeah. uh, and seeing you know the, the trailers they're called um rpg trailer number one number two and number three um so the first area is sort of like a jungle biome um and there's a dungeon in there, there's a starting town, and the start, obviously the spawn area. And the spawn area is obviously is, is protected from PvP, we don't want, you know, some faggot coming up and killing, randomly killing someone. Yeah, <laughs> what they said. Yeah. Um, the next area is a snowy type of biome, mass trees, it's got a really badass mountain, with a, with a pit, with like a head of a, of a, um, a dwarf, made by yep. Cameron, and it looks amazing, seriously. And inside the dungeons also very good. Uh, we're gonna have boss mobs to there. It's all gonna it's gonna be great. Yeah. Um and the next area is uh, a massive city. Uh yeah, it, it, well, no, it's it's just like a normal sort of boring biome and There's a massive castle in there it. There is a massive castle in ca castle in it, yeah. Uh with uh, uh well it's surrounded in a town basically. And the castle uh will lead to a dungeon. In so in yeah. our type of never biome, and well, it's a big cast, big enough cast for it can yeah. be done itself. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's to that's to come. Um, yeah. Um, uh, and I think that's it for now, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, we have a Facebook page for it, but we don't plan on you know getting that sorted out until we have social everything network, else done. Social networks, you're gonna hop in here if you wanna yeah. like guess talk about anything on the show this week, next week, whenever. Just tweet with the hashtag Talk Show Tuesdays and we'll read them and yeah. Just, yep. Yep. Because everybody uses Twitter. Yep. I'm about to do the flop. Um, well, I didn't really have... I don't actually have much else to say about um, RPG2 now, to be honest. So, someone yeah, else is... see it say Bioni. You know, someone else is... Obviously, go ahead and... It's Cameron next. Yep, ah, uh, yep. I'm talking about Feed Beast today, aren't I? Yes, Indeed. you are. Well, they recently released a new pack for it called FTB Ultimate, and I'm going to be testing that as soon as it starts working. <laughs> Done! <laughs> Done, is that it, Cameron? <laughs> Cameron. Well, anyway, Perfect. a lot of people are choosing so Feed the Beast over Tech It, and honestly, I don't see the hype. Cameron, would you hate it if I told you your mic has gone quiet again? Really? <laughs> really? It's not it's not too quiet, it's just quieter than what it was. <laughs> it's quieter than all of us. Oh. Pretty much you're doing this if I if my chair will work. I will demonstrate this to perfection. You're going, hey guys, what are you saying? <laughs> my alien wear colour just oh flashed. Oh how weird. It's like you're rolling it's away. Okay. So well Mike, you play Feed the Beast, you got anything to No? Yeah, anything? I'm not sure what the hype is over it. Because it just seems like tech it, but no. Oh, really? Really, it depends what mod pack you're using. Because, like, there's lots of different mod packs. So, with tech it, you've got, like, just strict tech it and stuff you've got in there. But with, like, Feed the Beast, you've got the Minecraft one and the Yorks Cast one. And, yeah. Yeah, they, they're all the same, but slightly different, I've noticed. Uh, well, yeah, 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 guys. Um, For, like, consideration, I don't know what Feed the Beast is. Sure, I've played Tech It, which most people have. Feed the Beast is pretty much Tech It. Is it, is it literally yeah. the same? Yeah. Tech It but nerfed. Oh, well, that kind of makes me not want to play it anymore. Well, yeah. no, it, it is good, but it's... So what, what would... Why, why, why don't I just play Tech It, then? Well, it's got, like, more mods. It's got more mods, it's got... But you, you said it's been nerfed. One, you said it's been nerfed. Yeah, but if, if you go yeah. if you go on the Minecraft one, which is one I play the most, it's got like bees and stuff, and bees you can breed and new trees and everything, and it's 1.4.7 now. Yeah, so. like we do, like Tech it used to have forestry in it, but um, it got removed because they didn't actually have permission. You've got bees. Yeah, Cameron, you're really seriously quiet, man. No, he, he's not actually that bad, I noticed. I mean, through my mic. I can hear him, but he's a lot more... Beast is a... There we go. Yeah. Okay. Beast actually has permission to use forestry, and that's not the only thing it has that Tech It doesn't. It also has something called Thermal Expansion, which is an add-on for build draft, which means that building a Maxerator is worthless now. Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, the only thing I found interesting about Tech it was the um, the rail system, you know, which you yeah, know, rail craft. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's it. That's him. Yeah, good he's did. Oh, that's it's good. It's gotten a lot better. It's easier to make regular rails. Yeah. Well, that's good. But mm. steel is still a pain to get. So, so you're telling me that I should play Feed the Beast over Tech it because it's yep. more updated? Yep. No, not necessarily. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, Feed the Beast has equivalent exchange in it, but it's not quite as good as it was on Tech It. Because on Tech It, you could literally just dupe things. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. As much as you wanted. But, um, Feed the Beast is in 1.4.7. Mm -hmm. Which means that it's got equivalent exchange fee on it, which completely changes the system. Ah, right, okay. Like, get ma just making a Philosopher's Stone relies on you killing loads of mobs. Okay, well, wow. okay, um, yeah, well, anything else to comment on, or can we... The inclusion, oh, oh, the inclusion the comment. of the Falcon Gaff oh, was a good okay. choice, though. It's an amazing mod. Go on, Mike, what you got to say? Right, Greg Tech, that is a mod in the Minecraft version of it, and it makes everything harder. Literally, yeah. okay. it makes How? the game impossible. How? Uh, well, well just to make a macerator, you need diamond dust. And to get that, you need to make a pulverizer, which does the exact same job as a macerator, which so just takes the macerator completely out of the equation. Pointless. Yeah. Also, it, however, Greg Tech does add some interesting stuff, like the um, deuterium extractor. Mm. So you can use a fusion reactor rather than a nuclear reactor. Oh my, right, okay. Oh, right, uh, I see what you mean. It's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm actually building one on a Minecraft server. I'm no, well, I just noticed, right, the picture that uh, we're streaming with is actually yeah. a picture from RPG2. It's an entrance to one of the dungeons. Nice. Which dungeon? Uh, Castle Dungeon. Uh, I see. Yeah, I don't want to give too much away at the moment. Um, so, Good. yeah. Um, is it the, um... You can type in text chat and we can get, let, uh, you in. Start, you know. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What I want about is next gen consoles, which is uh, which is quite interesting for me, purely because like obviously there's the PS3, there's the well PS4 even, Xbox 720 and stuff like that. But there's like new consoles. I think it's called the Ewa. I'm not sure. I'll go have a look it up. But basically, what it's trying to do is adding add in uh basically uh. Just like, you know computers, yeah, you can make like games pretty easy on that, free Java, yeah. so, yep. so on and so forth. Um, they're basically including the same sort of thing into Ooh. their console, so then basically there's expected to be quite a few new games onto that. They're not really relying on big game companies to provide most of their games, they're relying on like small little indie game sort of things. So. Oh, that's good actually, because I think me and Cameron have got ourselves some pretty good ideas. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so that'd be awesome for you, and... Speaking of indie games, yeah. I'm going to be doing a playthrough of FTL on the channel soon. Oh, that's, that's good. Speaking of well, well, YouTube channel, shameless plug, Mike's Bike 2 and 7. Go, go, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. Well, Mike, I know to edit this video now. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Actually, it says your username on the picture, so it's a bit late now. <laughs> right. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just really excited about that. And with the uh, Xbox, they're expected to. Well, people are saying that they're copying uh, the like PS3, uh, and it's going to be in the PS4. But they're they're saying that they're going to have Blu-ray. But I, I don't. I don't. Well, it's a bit it. late because PS4 has already accomplished that, and they really. Yeah, I know, but I don't. Again, I don't see how it's copying. It's something which is multimedia. I mean, PS4 yeah, uh, the only reason Blu-ray is used is because the discs can handle up to 50 gigabytes of storage at really fast speeds. I mean, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I mean, it's not exactly copying, is it? That's just being awesome. Yeah, I, I, I don't see how it's copying if you're just adding something which is already out there, which the... Which are quite a few people use. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's funny that Blu-ray, uh, like the people who made Blu-ray or whatever, aren't actually saying that it's copying, whereas PS3, well, the, P the PlayStation company, Sony, um, are saying that it is, which is a little bit annoying. And uh, another thing with the 
Xbox, they seem that they think they have bragging rights for saying, oh yeah, we have a better processor, which is nothing to do with, like, gameplay, really. It's it's nothing to do with, like, lack of gameplay. It's just... To, yeah. It, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, well, from what I've heard, um, I don't know, I can't, I, I want Xbox to have, you know, better specs in general. That's because... I think Xbox is better than PS3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On the subject of, uh, hold on a second, this is working. Yep. Once, while I'm on the subject back to um, next gen consoles, did you guys hear about the Wii U? Yeah. No. Go on. What about it? It's um, eight major developers have pulled out because the CPU's slow. Oh. Wow. That is a lot. Yesterday, when we were doing a test recording, my net actually cut out as I said that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's, that's kind of a convenience. Yeah, like, I really, I really generally hope that Xbox has a better process than a PS3 does. One, money. I think people play Xbox because they're reliable as well. Where PS, oh, you know, as an example, PS3 was, you know, let's all admit it, they were hacked for a good two months. And they thought, to cover up, we'll just give everyone a free game or two, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah that's... That was pretty bad of them. And I don't, from what I know, um, you know, Xbox hasn't come under any sort of major, you know what I mean, like any sort of major yeah. hack or, you know. They did for like a day, but they fixed it really quick. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that's also a thing what like PS4, go well, yeah, uh, play uh, Sony are going about. They, they think that they're like in the clear when Xbox has had like two hacks, whilst PS3 has so say only had one. But yep. that's not true. That's yeah. just that's bogus. Oh, that is absolute bogus. I'm talking about major hacks rather yeah. than like minor hacks. But yeah, PS3 have them all the time, maybe even on the month. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't quote me I that. mean, I mean, obviously you get the odd, odd retard on Xbox, you think, yeah, oh yeah, just gonna casually come on with me and bought that I um, bought online, you know. Oh, Chris on Minecraft. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I totally can't code myself, I'll just use someone else's, and so I'm gonna be a faggot and troll people with an aimbot. I mean, you get, every, you get everyone who does that, but well, I think it seems more common on PS3. Like, I know, I, I'm not being rude or anything, but a lot of people from our school is like, uh, I've heard that use a lot, like, like, a majority of them play PS3, and most of them have, like, a hack for it. Uh, so, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's just from what I've heard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, there, there seems to be another, like, console battle again, which is no surprise. Uh, which is between... Hey, I'm actually on the page for Greg Tech. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, but they're having another console battle between, obviously, so Sony, Microsoft, and even Nintendo, apparently. Uh, s s uh, they're claiming that they're in it, but let's be honest. Be uh, you know, people only had the Wii. Sounds yeah. like you're trying to make it a dramatic news story, so there will be another battle. No, no, well, there will be, though. They're, to oh, really, sorry. to be honest, at the moment, oh, yeah. we are in the lead. I'll yeah. be quite honest, we are in the lead at the moment. Well, I don't know why, because PS4 has only just been released, uh, Xbox 720 hasn't even been released, and PS4 hasn't, PS4 hasn't been released. Yeah, like, been announced. Been released, yeah. PS3's, been, PS4's been announced. Yeah. 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 Oh, For, well, the only thing I've heard about the, X, the new Xbox, right, is it's coming out next year. Or the end of this year. Oh, right. Either, okay. either, so... Yeah. Also saying there's going to be Skype on the Xbox, which I... There already is, from what I've... Think. Uh, no, no, they're yeah. just uh, the Connect is Skype, but uh, no, uh. Just, you know, they're saying that it's going to be Skype, which I think is a little stupid to be honest. Yeah. Because you already have the party thing. Then. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, you know, if you wanted to chat, you. Yeah, but you know why that is, don't you? It's because they're both made by the same company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I I think that'd be cool if. Like, <laughs> That's just since you're not. To be honest, right? Let's just say. Someone goes on Xbox just to use Skype, and they have to have Xbox Live to do it. So basically, <laughs> they're paying for, they're paying for ten pound a month just for Skype <laughs> when it's free. Something that's free, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. true. 
it, it, <sighs> yeah, but that was quite funny. One thing, what yeah, I'm just gonna say like one last thing before like we move on. Uh, one thing what really annoys me about PC gamers, um, where sometimes when like they think, you know, oh yeah, uh, Xbox is rubbish because well some PC gamers and thing, uh, Xbox is rubbish because you have to pay monthly. Uh, it games, is worth the money though, isn't it? And many games on PC you have to pay. It's not just for the one set price. World of Warcraft. Have every yeah yep. exactly. Yeah, but it's just funny. World of Warcraft is probably the most popular popular MMO online. Yeah, and, and people, people still pay for it. Seriously. Yeah, yeah and it's really old, so it's all, it obviously has something yeah. going. Yeah, they've done a really. I think Blizzard have done really well for themselves, mm. especially yeah. since they've just released a um, StarCraft uh, DLC. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I mean, I'm bringing up a fiend again, guys. Um, uh, he actually tried to, uh, well, I think, I don't know if he succeeded or not, but he tried playing through the whole campaign on hard, on ultra, I, I'm not sure what the difficulty settings like on that game, and yeah. just, just to uh, try and become a world record, and so he can be like, I is the best gamer in the world, which he is anyway, so, <laughs> come on, let's hear Mike say, no he's not, no he's not, no, no, I think he's, he's cool, overrated. yeah, but he is cool though, Mike, and to be honest, he does it all for charity, so, you can't blame yep. him, can you really? Can't he's doing it for charity, mate. You can't, can't blame that guy, can't you really? He's in proper nice and everything. He, he does better work than Oxfam. <laughs> 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 he better, to be honest, from what I've seen, he does better work than Red Nose. Yeah. But the, the backing behind Red Nose, see, if he had that, that sort of money, yeah. uh, you know, he would be better. I think if he, if he did it on TV, then he probably would. To be honest, I know I posted a, tw a Facebook on uh, a Facebook on status the other day. No, um, I posted a on status on Facebook the other day, and uh, let me find it. And it said, Is that you're uh, "I wish all the money we make for Red Nose Day at school went to a fiend because I've actually seen what he does with the money to help the kids." And it was funny. All the people that liked it, including Cameron, who's in the call at the moment, and yep. Sophie Gostinelli, who are quite um, high up in our school, let's say. And, yeah. six, and seven other people obviously mm -hmm. agree because obviously that obviously says something that they've never seen for the, where the money goes yeah. which is kind of true to be honest I have never ever seen where the money goes mm. yeah I'm that is very Mike Hardy Wilson on Twitter I mean, I mean seriously I mean you don't see where the money goes have you seen where the money goes Mike because I, I haven't no. no you don't see where the money goes with that stuff but what you do see it's all these posh ass celebrities going out to, to like all this African stuff, yeah. and they were nice having a nice time. Rooms, and they would just be like, "Help, give five pounds to this poor child." And then the second the cameras stop rolling, I can guarantee you, is get off me, you little bigot. I can guarantee you, you that's what happened. Was you that? bigot. We're British. We're allowed to say that. Okay. Say random words. Oh, I was gonna say something worse. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and I, uh, from what I've seen, actually, a fiend, he's actually, you know, done videos of himself going to Africa and, you know, actually saying hello. And he actually takes a laptop over there and shows what he does. And it's really, it's really good for him. So, a fiend. Yeah. Nothing, nothing more on that. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, haven't really, I don't think we have anything else to talk about, guys. Well, um... I, I want to go on about a few things, e.g. like uh, just a few changes. One, I'm hoping to make graphically do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean for the uh, for this podcast, I don't know. I, I'll probably not have it ready by the time they upload it. But um, yeah, I have a new graphic design almost almost finished for it, uh, and that's going to be pretty cool. Actually, I, it's coming along pretty well. I yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna hopefully change the. Uh, it's it has like our like our name. Sorry, we get two years in the middle, and it has like right. all of our names. Well, all of our like we have little separate boxes, yeah. You see, like our whatever our pictures, and then like it has a little bit of writing, and then like hopefully I can link. Back. I'll do all this editing if you want me to record it as well, and then like every time they speak, the box will flash up, and yeah. So then you'll know who's speaking and whatever. Just so then, you know, it's a lot more right. user friendly, I suppose. Oh, good. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Making the box with Flash, good, good luck. No, 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 it's just from Skype, really. Ah, okay. So, I'm just using that gotcha. concept, but, 
you know, just using it more efficiently, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I expect more from the channel. Like I have um, PVR, so I can record from consoles that are on HD. Like um, obviously GameCube, Wii, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So expect something from that. Like I want to do Time Splitters, which is gonna, which is quite a fun game. So. Yeah. 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 I think that's it, really. Yeah. So it's awesome having you guys here, as always. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Oh god, I gotta wait, yeah, I'll, yeah. Right, bye everyone, bye, have a nice day. <laughs> bye. Yeah.